In this video, we'll take a brief look at the new features in FUR Designer M version 2. The first is a new supplementary responses view for looking at the effect of all processing on other loudspeaker measurements, such as off axis measurements. For multi way measurements, the process combined responses are also plotted. For every channel, a directory of additional measurements can be loaded and viewed with all the filtering from the main workflow, including gain, polarity, delay, IIR, and FIR filters all applied. Measurements for each channel are loaded in alphanumeric order, and so long as each driver's measurements are in the same order in their directories, they will be plotted together and the combined responses will be correct. The upper plot shows all the processed combined responses. The lower plot scroll lists individual measurements for each channel with all processing applied. When any filtering in the main workflow is changed, Press the update button to refresh the plots. Also new in Fur Designer M version 2 is support for the powerful new Lake XP modules available in Lake Controller version 7. XP modules include one way, two way, three way, and four way variants, and they have expanded FIR and IIR capabilities over the previous Lake FIR three way module. They also have three band multi band limiting on each output and include sidechain filtering options. Press the Lim button on each channel to open the limiter settings view. Multiband crossover filters can be set from a list of standard filters, or filter coefficients can be loaded directly into the text window. The new FUR Designer Lake Controller plugin version 3.1 is required to be able to set the Lake XP modules. This plugin also supports the Lake FIR three way module and it's backwards compatible with older versions of Fur Designer and Fur Designer M. For more specific details on the XP modules and their settings, contact Labgruppen. On each channel, the loudspeaker impedance can be loaded and the vertical viewing range set. And now the impedance appears behind many of the plots in the main workflow. The impedance plot can be enabled and disabled using the Show Impedance checkbox. On both the System and Channel Target tabs, the combined target response can be exported and loaded into Rational Acoustic Smart as a target line on RTA plots. We've added mouse control to all filters and auto mag and auto phase regions. When a line in the table is highlighted, controls appear on the plot and can be selected and moved with a mouse. Most plot colors can be customized by right clicking on the colored rectangle next to the checkbox. Colors are stored and loaded when the program is next run and default colors can be restored in preferences. All magnitude adjust and phase adjust filters now have an invert option. And also keel hawback filters are now available on the magnitude adjustment tab. And finally, We've added sample rate support for 88.2 and 176.4 kHz. Thanks for watching.